Wouldn't it be great if you could simulate your own ride, your own outdoor favorite courses indoors? So you ride your races or your training routes, you know, up and down hill, TT rides, whatever you normally do. And then you could simulate that over the winter or on weekends when there's bad weather, you know, at night when it gets too dark to ride, you could simulate that on the indoor trainer. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm going to use Zwift as an example. We can actually use a variety of trainers, trainer road, compu trainer, tax. Okay, so let's break this down. This is the situation. You do your ride outside, a certain speed, certain power, certain gradient, intervals of a certain duration. What you want to be able to do is for the indoor trainer to mimic that. Now, ideally, the absolute, the absolute perfect world would be if you could actually have the route mapped out on your computer, i.e. simulated visual representation of where you're going. Maybe if you paid Zwift half a million dollars, they'd, they'd develop your own personal route around your favorite area. But come on, that's not going to happen. Second best, but still good, is to have uh, Zwift, for example, overlay each of those intervals or blocks in workout mode that you did outside, indoor, over a standard course that they do. So for example, you're riding on Watopia, Richmond, or London, but each interval in workout mode is the same duration and same intensity that you ride outside. That's what we actually can achieve here. So how do we do it? Okay, it's been around for about six or 12 months now on best bike split. So you can take your rides off, say your Garmin or other bike computer in a universal format, and then import them into best bike split, and best bike split will enable you to export them back in this trainer format Garmin workout file, tax workout file, ERG file, MRC file, Zwift, of course, trainer road, or CompuTrainer. Best Bike Split will do the calculation and export to one of those formats. The only problem is Best Bike Split is by subscription. The free service only allows for exports. However, I'm going to show you here on the sister company to Best Bike Split, that is what's on Zwift. You can do exactly the same with unlimited exports. So I'm going to show you a how-to behind the scenes, my first ever ride export and import into Zwift. Okay guys, today I'm going to try something I've never tried before, which is to export a real-life IRL ride into Zwift so you can make it a workout indoors for any future time. The way to do this is to go on to whatsonzwift.com and you click on at the top there, GPX to Zwift, convert a real-life route to a Zwift workout. So apparently all you need to do is open up the GPX file but in step two, you put in your rider details and I presume that will scale it. So let's have a look. So I'm opening up Strava here. I rode a ride last year, 23rd of September, 2016, 23K, 46 minutes. It was a pretty good workout for me. I had the heart rate strap on, 42 suffer score, which is modest, but remember it's a shortish ride. And um, <clears throat> this was the ride in Bradgate Park, Leicestershire. It's a beautiful area. There's one fairly decent climb in there. You can see the grade up uh, Warren Hill. 10-11% in places and that's classified by Strava as a uh, category 4 climb. It took me 7 minutes to make that ascent. Let's try and export the GPX file from here. Um, just drop it straight into my documents, that should be fine. Okay, it's there. Now let's return to what's on Zwift and then let's get the file from my documents. There it is. And as it happens, my FTP isn't much above 250 at the moment, so we can leave it at that, that uh, rider weight, <coughs> uh, around about 73, bike weight metrics, let's have a look at advanced, oh, that's interesting, it's allowing me to put in CDA, which is about ride, rolling resistance, include warm-up as well, mm, okay, let's have a warm-up. Normally the GPX file has elevation data, but if you don't have elevation data, you can Add it manually using one of these tools. You can clean up your GPX file if you want to. Anyway, let's give it a go. Wow, your personalized Zwift workout is ready for download. Distance 23k, elevation 245 meters. Download workout, personalized workout details 47 minutes. Average speed, normalized power 238. TSS 71, wow, 71, so that's 71% of what would be a 60 minute flat out FTP effort. Zone distribution, let's download it. Now we'll put this directly into documents, Zwift workouts. So now let's go into, let's launch Zwift and see if we can get this working. Let's 
This could be interesting. Okay, so when you launch Zwift, to go into workout mode, you can press the E button or just skip on your rider setup, select select workout. Now scroll down. These are the top of all the standardized workouts. At the bottom here, you should have your custom workouts. And indeed, there it is, Bradgate right Park. So let's have a quick look at it under the Zwift editor first. So, ah yes, of course, because this is going to make you ride on the set course. For example, Richmond, London or Watopia. But with your effort over the top. So your actual completion time or actual um, distance is not necessarily going to match. That's what it's saying. It's putting a 10 minute warm up there. That's too long for me. So I'm sure we can change that. I prefer a really short warm up. So I'm going to put that two. And I prefer easy warm up. So I'm going to change that to 60. So we've got a tiny little warm up. Let's have a little look at this power profile. Hmm. Wow. So we've got four, 47 stars in this workout. Workout duration 49. And let's put a little cool down in. Cool down, ultra short. Wow, I'm actually blown away by this facility. The facility to take actual IRL in real life ride. Take the data, take the intervals, take the duration, take the intensity, scale it if necessary, okay. and import it back okay, into your so favorite training that. program, Zwift in this instance. And uh, let's, uh, then be able to race that, race and train on that circuit, albeit with the visual representation okay, well, of the Zwift circuit it, so on the screen. It. That is pretty um, good, guys. That's a pretty good training, training resource. Wow. Wow, guys, that was a first then. This is the first time I've taken a ride. It's recorded on my Garmin head unit, the 520 as it happens. I uploaded it to Strava, I forgot about it for about a year. And now I've grabbed that file as a GPX file. I've, I've uploaded it to what's on Zwift. It's worked its magic and exported it back into the Zwift workout file, ZWO file. And then I've uploaded it back into Zwift and, and there we go. We're, we're, we're away, we're firing guys. We're, we're able to ride our in IRL route on Zwift anytime, day or night. That's amazing. By the way, I used to have a similar facility when I used to ride the Tax Virtual Reality Trainer, the one with the simulated steerer, Tax Fortius. And I will say there's one feature on Tax that has never come into Zwift, and I'm really dying for Zwift to develop this. And I hope somebody in Zwift will watch this video, or you guys will watch it and vote it up in the most wanted features. And that is the ability to race against your own ghost. In Tax, on the Virtual Reality, Tax used to remember your performance from previous attempts. And so you could see, rather than those generic blue ghosts on Zwift, one of the ghosts would be your previous ride. You could essentially race yourself. And that would be a great carrot, if you like, in order to achieve a PR or PB. Okay, guys, that's how to create IRL ride and import it into Zwift. It's the closest you can get to asking Zwift to make your own personal course. It's an awesome little facility, little known. Give it a go, guys. Thanks.